Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yes, that's me. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel. Welcome to my review of this unusual knife. This is the GVDV Full Tang Hunting Knife. The normal price is $30, but I bought this on sale for $20. Now, here's a closer look at it. The blade length is 7.3 inches. It has saw teeth at the back. And it does come with a handle wrap, but the handle wrap actually slid down when I started using it. So you're going to have to replace that handle wrap. The tip is sharpened on both sides. It's a clip point, stone washed. But that blade shape reminds me of my Ontario Pilot Survival Knife, but it's uh, a lot longer than that classic knife. The integrated guard on this knife is unusual. The back part looks like a weapon catch and the front part is a retention ring which they say is for safety to keep a grip on this I assume for when you're slicing drawing it across something I tested this knife out thoroughly at the creek here I am carving the uh, carving a stake with this anti-vampire defensive bushcraft no doubt when I first bought this knife I was intending to use it as a throwing knife but when it arrived I was very surprised it was a lot better than I thought it would be. It's, uh, the edge was done really well, it was sharper, it was thicker than I thought it would be. And I started thinking, you know, I bet I could use this as a real knife, too. Alright, there is our pointed stick. Okay, next up, some chopping. I did beat on this knife because, you know, it's a $20 knife. So I wanted to just make sure that it could stand up to some real use. Now, it's a 7.3 inch blade, but this actually chops more like an 8 or 9 inch long knife would because you're going to hold it below that guard section when you chop. All right, here's the chopping. I'm not going to narrate this part. You can just listen to the chopping. All right, I hope you like that. So it chopped pretty well, I mean, for a knife. And I also stabbed into that thing a few times just to make sure it would uh, stay pointy. I tried out the saw back and it actually worked. How about that? I thought it might just be ornamental, like trying to be like a movie knife, but no. It actually uh, worked for notching this branch. You see that? Look at that. I was surprised. I mean, I thought it was, you know, it might just be for show, but no. You actually can use that saw back to notch a branch. All right, this came very sharp. Yeah, I was shocked. I mean, a $20 knife, you just don't expect the edge to be like that. Here it is cutting some pork. And again, I mean, look how cleanly this cuts. Yeah, I was shocked. Like I said, when I bought this, I was just thinking, I'm going to use it as a throwing knife. It's a cheap knife. I wasn't expecting the edge to be any good. And here, this is a better edge than more expensive knives. Look at that. And I hope you like, hope you like pork. I love it. Here it is cutting a few other materials. That's a, a scrap. Yep, there's your seatbelt. 
And we got some paracord. So there you go. You can use it to cut some mundane items at camp. Here's the sheath. Now it's a very... It's kind of a cheapo sheath because remember, the whole knife, I mean, this was $20. So I guess they just couldn't really spend much on the sheath. So I would just say make your own sheath. You know, that's just more of a blade cover. I just make my own sheath. Okay, so final thoughts on this knife. A shocking knife, but in a good way. I was thinking I would just buy it as a throwing knife, but the things you should know... It's a lot thicker than you would think. It's stronger. The edge was done really well. And it stood up to a lot of chopping. I chopped more than you see in the video. You know, I chopped uh, several more logs. But the video can only be so long. The edge was fine. No chipping, no rolling. So that ain't really bad for this price range. I mean, this thing chopped like a mini machete. Whatever it is, they got the heat treatment right, you know? So this, you could actually use this as a real knife. It's, it's quite amazing. I definitely, I definitely feel like I got my $20 worth. Even the saw back worked. Now, as I was testing this, somebody went by me on a kayak. Yeah, shout out to the kayaker. This video has everything. It has a creek, it has a knife as the kayak person. But yeah, this knife definitely was worth it. I would say get one before they disappear. I mean, I gotta wonder, did they mean to just make this as good as it is for only $20? Or was it an accident? Or did they just buy it from some other company that went out of business? So maybe they're able to sell it for a super cheap price, but totally worth it. Check out the links below the video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.